turn this light down. All right, guys. So today, what we are going to do is try to make an R&B beat. So this will be my first R&B beat ever. Never tried to like attempt to make one before. So, so we'll see how this goes. Before we start, uh, follow me on Instagram uh, if you have it. I know you do. And leave a like and a comment. Um, I'm currently on like three subscribers. So, um, yeah. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So now we're in Logic and I've just got this uh, plugin called Expand. A lot of R&B beats use like pads. So that's why I'm using this. If you haven't got Omnisphere, this is a sort of, well, it's not as good as Omnisphere at all actually. It's a good plugin. It's got a lot of cool pads. So yeah, so I picked out this one called Gentleman 25 and it sounds like this. So I've got this scale already in. So and we're just bumping the BPM up to 130. So we're just going to start by dropping down some uh, chords. So we're going to start with this. So we've got some simple chords there. So we're just going to add some sort of like top line. So we just pitched it down, so now we have this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open Arcade and find um, some like vocal samples. So I always use this one called, uh, so we, we're using this one here called Forever More. That's a bit too like prominent, so we're going to try and get it in the background. So we're going to open um, RC Retro Color and turn the noise down on the wobble, and then just adjust this cut knob here. That sounds good. So I think that's good for the melody. So it's sort of so it's uh, not too complicated, but uh, yeah. Now we're going to start on the drums. So instead of using a clap, we've got this uh, snare here. It's more like a rim shot. And now when it comes to the hi-hats, instead of doing this um, normal two-step, what we're gonna do is just highlight everything and then press this fourth note here. So this makes it sort of like a half-time effect. So now what we're gonna do is just do like some different um, Rolls basically. <clears throat> so that's good for the hi hats. So we're just gonna duplicate it and then turn one left and one right. So we have like a stereo field. So this so that everything's just not centered. And now we're gonna add a kick. If you listen to like any Bryson Tiller and stuff like that, this um, sort of double kick effect is like quite a thing so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just like keep the uh kicks like quite spaced out and then we might do like a, a roll some like kick rolls here yeah like that so now we got this so lastly what we're going to add is the bass line so we got this bass line here called tide and it sounds like this not like that 
bit more like R&B and bouncy. So we're just going to um, follow the bass notes. So we just copy the melody down and delete these bottom notes and then pitch everything down. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. Um, the last thing we're going to do is just drag this. Um, we're just going to take this bass line out when the uh, actual beat comes in. Um, I also found this extra perk here. So I just put that before the beat came in. So yeah, so this is pretty much the arrangement. Obviously, we're just going to make this longer. And we're going to bring back in that vocal chop for the beginning and sort of leave it out during the chorus and then we can bring it back in for a verse. So altogether we have this.